What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of my horror reviews. I'm excited to be here today. It's a very special day for me because lately I've been doing all of my stuff on just the phone. I've been using a, a microphone, not microphone, uh, headsets, just small pieces here and there. So the quality of the sound has been okay, but it hasn't been fantastic. Well, look what I got. I have a microphone and I've tested it out a few times and I'm actually really impressed with the quality of it. Uh, I got it on Amazon for like 35 bucks but with that being said um, I'm excited to really start banging out some videos on all my YouTube channels, my horror review channels, um, I'm, I'm starting an ASMR channel, all kinds of different stuff going on. I got my own podcast that I do started up, uh, wrestling and horror podcast but Anyways, that's just me rambling because, like I said, I'm just excited that I got this microphone and for $35, it was really, really good quality, more than I ex way more than I expected. So, today, because it's such a good day, I wanted to go over a movie that I just watched uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe a week and a half ago, uh, but I thought it was really, really good. Now, this movie's called Mad Heidi. So it came out in 2022, at the end of 2022, and pretty much it takes place in a dystopian Switzerland, fallen to a evil cheese tyrant, okay? So there was a revolution, they lost the revolution, so now you've got this fascist, fascist that is running the country how they want, and you gotta, you got to eat cheese, you got to eat their cheese, and anything other than that is blasphemy. So the story takes place with this girl, Mad Heidi, or Heidi, and she's with this guy, Goat Peter. Goat Peter is, uh, he's like a drug dealer almost, only he, he makes pure cheese uh, using goats, the goat cheese. So she ends up getting with him, and they, you know, they're a thing, so they hang out and they do everything by themselves, and... Um, so what ends up happening is he ends up getting caught by the people in charge. Not exactly the president. The president of the, the movie, his name is President Millie, and his number one person is Commander Noor. Now, if you can tell already, like the the by the words and like the names and everything, the movie's really not meant to be that like serious. It's a it's a very fun horror slash action slash comedy kind of movie i mean it focuses around cheese so anyway goat peter gets caught and he gets executed right in the middle of town now what that does is it sets off heidi she ends up screaming um she ends up catching the attention of commander nor and all the other people there so they end up taking her prisoner and what they have is, um, it's almost like a form of the Roman fighting pit. So they have their prisoners, and they have their prisoners fight other prisoners. And it's a whole ceremony. So that's what they want to lead her up to in the, the film. So she gets taken as a prisoner, and uh, she ends up meeting another person there, Clara. Now, Clara ends up becoming one of her friends, and one of really her only friend there. And they end up getting pretty much tortured by their cellmates, who are um, a lot bigger. They're more like brutes. So they end up getting tortured to the point where it's just too much for Heidi. So Heidi finds a way to escape. And when she escapes, she runs into this almost like a... a eternal being type thing and she's there to help her uh, learn teach her how to fight because now Heidi wants revenge on the people that killed her boyfriend goat Peter but she don't really got fighting experience so she goes and she's training with them for a good a little amount of time it doesn't really say the time period so she ends up learning what she needs to learn and then she ends up going to see her grandfather. She lived with her grandfather before she ended up getting captured. And then when she ended up getting captured, she thought that the grandfather ended up getting um, killed in an explosion. But he ended up escaping. So the grandfather, at the same time as she's training, 
The grandfather, now knowing that Heidi's been captured, is trying to start a revolution again. And he goes to his old friend, Isaac, and who hasn't seen him in years, and tells them, hey, look, this is what's going on. Uh, they got Heidi. Now, plot twist, uh, Isaac is actually the father of Goat Peter. So where they were leading the charge back in the day, um, they ended up getting back into it. So as they're preparing, Heidi's preparing at the same time without really knowing. And then it comes to a part where Heidi ends up running into them again, finding them, and they end up forming a small revolution. Uh, fast forward to the point where while all this is going on, you go, because it's all taking place in different parts, and it's all happening at the same time. So as that's going on, the president, the, the tyrant, President Millie, is trying to find this formula uh, for cheese. And he's got this doctor that is working on it. Now, pretty much what he's trying to do is he's trying to uh, find a formula that'll dumb people down and make them into pretty much zombies. So, you know, they start looking like zombies, they start acting like zombies. So that's kind of where, like, the movie transpires, like, on his end. Because what he planned on doing was he planned on going to the Rome Coliseum. And, well, that's what I'm calling it, but you know, you know what I'm saying. And pretty much feeding everyone the cheese so he can control everyone even more. So, as the movie's progressing, Heidi runs, finds them, takes out a bunch of guards. Ends up getting caught. Again, she ends up getting knocked out by uh, one of their prized fighters. They call him the Bull. Something like that. So anyway, the Bull knocks her out. They chain her up. They put her in the pit to fight. She starts destroying them. She starts, because she's got all this training now, she starts killing everyone. Now, she ends up having to fight the Brutes. And at one point, the Brutes weren't really on their her team because they've been pretty much brainwashed. Uh, as well as her friend Clara that's been brainwashed. Not with the cheese, but just by that torture and just the prison life. They want to just do what they got to do. So she ends up convincing the, the brute that they, they will work a lot better as a team. Now, she's right. So at some point during the pit, they both start ganging up on the bull because now the bull came out to do his job and to just kill everyone. So they end up killing the bull, um, killing a couple more guards here and there. And now you've got the grandfather coming in with his new revolution, attacking all of like the soldiers for uh, the President Millie. And uh, so now you've got the president and he runs with the, the special guests that were supposed to be there from other countries. And um, they run. And th what they're trying to do is trying to get away. So Heidi ends up running after them and uh, kicking their ass. You know, she, she she's a, a pretty badass character in this. And um, it's pretty exciting to watch. So the movie ends a point where they end up, she ends up killing the president. And in a way, everything's kind of kosher and free now from the tyrant. So now her and her friend Clara are, the very last scene per takes place with the doctor, uh, Dr. Switchable. Yeah. Uh, he is, he's got a whole milk truck of this cheese that he's going to distribute and try it because he doesn't know what's going on yet. He wasn't there. So as he's about to distribute it in the road, you see Heidi and Clara and they take they just take him out. You know, they just kill him. He's easy. He was an easy one. He's just a doctor. So, and then the credits roll, and right before, well, no, right before the credits roll, you see that cheesy, like, almost like a black dynamite kind of, like, pop-up. Coming soon, Heidi and Clara. So, and then it rolls to the credits. Now, I really like this movie. I actually, there's not a lot of movies that um, I give a 5 out of 5 for, but I give it that because it's not really like it's not meant to be serious and at the same time like the kills were very uh, there wasn't animatronic the, not animatronics uh, not CGI so they were very pure like you know a lot of uh, um, 
real kind like real feel old school kind of kills and um so that was one of the things I really liked about it. And there, another thing I really liked about it is the movie was about an hour and 30 minutes long. So it hits my mark of perfect timing in a movie. Another thing that I really liked about it was the, um, the movie itself, they did it a, a special kind of way because they didn't have the funds to make the movie. So what they did, and this is why it took so long to make, is I guess they've been trying to make it for five years, is... They made a trailer of the movie before it was made. So they maybe did like one or one or scene or something to promote it. Hoping for crowd funds because they didn't have the money to make the movie the way they wanted. So they made the trailer for it and it picked up over time. They made two over two million dollars in donations by five hundred and sixty people in uh, a few different countries total. To make this so it's a crowdfunded kind of movie so it's it's for the people as well i really did enjoy that also what i'm going to say like um two actors one actor one actress in particular the first person is heidi who plays heidi in it i've never seen this actress she hasn't really been in a lot but i thought she was like amazing from like her corny one-liners to just the way she did her scenes to you know She's just a really, really awesome character, and the character was made through the person. So her name is Alice Lucy. That's what I found, and she just did a phenomenal job. Like I'm just, I'm at awe. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep a lookout for her movies because there's not a lot of actresses or actors that catch my eye like that. So that was the first one that I said caught my eye. The other one is actually a, a more famous actor. He played the grandfather. He was the uh, Al Foy, I want to say that's how they pronounce his name, the grandfather in it. And um, he played in Pirates of the Caribbean. I didn't know that until I was actually looking some facts up about this movie. Uh, David Schofield. So it was a really, that was kind of cool to see that they had some uh, stardom in the movie as well to kind of bring it to a form of relevancy. So like I said, that's my review. Um, I'm happy to you know, give this review, and uh, it's just a good day, like I said, I'm very, I'm excited about the microphone, so I'm just trying to talk, but I'm not trying to, like, burn out the time for you guys, so, like I said, check it out, I think it's on Shutter. I don't know, I found it on my website, but I think it's on Shutter. if you just Google, type in Mad Heidi, it'll give you the website, uh, whatever one it's on, maybe Tubi, I know Tubi does a lot of free stuff, so, that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope you guys have a good day, peace.